All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to IGTV. Uh, in this segment, we have uh, Lamora, K Lamora Kessem coming in from uh, RSA, and uh, Lamora is coming in from their uh, fraud uh, detection labs over in Israel. And uh, Lamora, thank you very much for coming on to the program today. And you're going to be talking about something that we talk to a number of different vendors about, and that, quite frankly, is uh, bringing your own device. So why don't you step into it and let me know what's going on. Did I lose you? Uh, Lamar, are you still there? I am. I couldn't uh, hear a thing you were saying. <laughs> okay. Well, I just did the setup. Go ahead. Take it away. Hi, Joe. I'm sorry I couldn't hear you. Um, if you're asking something, I'll just uh, start with the subject of today, which is the Bring Your Own Device Rush. Uh, and we're going to take a quick look at BYOD, talk a bit about the risks and what can be done to properly embrace this new cost-cutting trend, trend. So at a time where malware and the enterprise and APTs are the talk of the town in every company, and hackers making the headlines all too often, information security being really more crucial than ever before, BYOD is a workplace trend growing by the quarter and putting enterprises, IT, and infrastructure and overall data security at a rapidly growing risk. Forrester Research predicts that by the year 2016, more than 200 million employees will be requiring access to their corporate uh, networks and applications using smartphones that they will choose for themselves. So this is a trend we're only going to see growing further. With BYOD at the very basic level, what are we looking at? We have the older version of BYOD, which is a trend that is bigger than ever now, which is basically people using corporate laptops today and using them for work, for work in the morning time and then taking them home, using them as a personal device at night, come the next day and they plug it into the network. So we saw that growing a lot more because less people have desktops anymore. Like companies just buy laptops for everybody. They have docking stations and they use the laptop. So that trend really increased. Now we have the new age BYOD with people bringing their own phones or iPads or other tablets or whatever they want to use, plugging it and playing on the corporate network. So even for companies that have not even thought of allowing BYOD, it's happening to them anyway. How is it happening anyway? So for example, we take somebody named Mike, comes to work on Monday morning, he sees he needs to update the version of a smartphone and makes, uh, you know, it's a little long to update. So he figures, okay, I'll download the software that I need for it, uh, plugs his phone into the work PC, leaves it there to, to do whatever, then he says, oh, I might as well uh, sync my contacts. And then uh, why not just have my emails come there too to my own device? And then I can, you know, I can get emails later. I don't have to take the the other phone with me if he has a work phone, or whatever the case may be. Maybe he likes better using a smartphone and he doesn't like the work phone. So did he ask anyone in IT before he did all that? No, he didn't. He didn't think he had to. So people are are doing BYOD without the company's even having authorized anything or, or been updated about it. So on the other side of that firewall, you have an IT department sitting there and seeing many new and different devices joining their networks from the outside. And if in the past they've only dealt with Blackberries and handled these okay and they knew the platform and they knew how to work it, so now they're seeing devices plugging in with each its own platform, mobile apps, user-selected software, and so they have all these loopholes created by users carried from the sites they browsed on their personal time and the malware they might have picked up and coming into their network. So no matter how much an organization blocks and hardens the network, with BYOD they're still more open to trouble than ever. And employees also feel very comfortable to download whatever they like because it's their device. So they're not stopped by any alerts. Like if, if you're on a, cor a corporate PC and you're trying to download whatever, a chat, you won't be able to. But on their personal device, they're not asking anyone and they don't have any trouble doing that. And worst of all, they update and patch if they remember to or if they decide to. They could see that, you know, there's an update, they'll download it now or later in a week. And so the security mess that's created has never before been acceptable in any corporate network. 
and there is research, uh, recent research further showing that at least 75% of all network devices carry one security vulnerability or more. So again, a security issue and a big mess that can be uh, created from DYOD. Uh, did you wish for me to continue at this point, Joe? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what, Lamore? Let me just go to a quick commercial here, and uh, and then we'll be right.